Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name's Daniel, I'm a realtor over here in North Texas. If this is... And usually I can talk. If this is one of your first times visiting my channel, clicking on one of my videos, welcome. Typically I do some driving tours, property tours. I'm gonna be doing a tollway tour today. So this is for anyone that's gonna be possibly moving into McKinney, Frisco, Plano, Allen, the Colony, Grapevine, any of those areas. I'm gonna be traveling down Sam Rayburn Tollway to Carrollton. I mean, any of those cities all the way through there um, that run along the Sam Rayburn Tollway. I'm gonna be driving this today to kind of show you guys what your drive's gonna be like, how much in tolls you're gonna to pay, where the bridges are, where the neighborhoods are kind of located, kind of point out some different things in different areas that people kind of like uh, from city to city. So right now we are passing kind of over 75. This is where like McKinney Allen is in this area. Uh, so you'll kind of notice at the beginning of this video, uh, most of the stuff will be kind of land in some areas left and right. There won't be, you know, there are some buildings kind of developing now in Craig Ranch, but for the most part, it won't be uh, a lot of huge developments until we get closer to the airport. But essentially, this is going to lead us from McKinney to the airport. So if you're someone that's kind of thinking about, you know, you don't want to be too away, too far away from the DFW airport. You still want to be close. What that commute's going to kind of look like. Now, you can take um, Sam Rayburn Tollway to the Dallas North Tollway, then to Love Field. And that's where Southwest flies out of. Uh, currently, right now, I'm on the side road. Most of the stuff right now is just going to be some land. And then uh, you'll actually see within the next couple miles, it'll kind of open up and show you guys more of. The uh, kind of like the landscape of everything in the buildings. I really thought I got onto the right. I just couldn't, it didn't let me enter. Cause that was literally the beginning of the tollway there. So I just have to go one more entrance, but that's where it starts. If I went, if I started a little bit further down, it's, it's literally just like country road. All right, so left uh, at that street would take you down to like the Allen Premium Outlets. I did a tour on that. That's one of like the hot spots for if you're living in uh, the city of Allen to go to. They also have like a Top Golf there. We'll actually pass another Top Golf over in the colony. Uh, we'll pass a whole bunch of different places here. So now finally entering on. So I'll kind of add up uh, the different tolls we go through and how much that costs. But essentially, this is about a 25 mile. A tollway that runs all the way down to Grapevine, kind of where the uh, runs right. I mean, it runs right into where the exit for the DFW airport is. All right, so now we are officially on the tollway, and so now you'll kind of see it further up. You'll start to see a little bit on the right side of Craig Ranch. So right now, the right is McKinney, the left side is Allen. Uh, up here is where their Craig Ranch is. So I also did some tours on some of the neighborhoods around here. Go check out my McKinney playlist if you want to see more. Of, uh, more about Craig Ranch and that huge master plan commu community, but there's tons of neighborhoods within there and they have different price points. So um, they also have like townhomes and they have a huge golf course. So if you're someone that's into golf and wants to be around that. And then I'm also making this video on a Saturday at 12 at noon. So just to give you guys an idea over what, kind of what the traffic is. I mean, it's not gonna be crazy traffic right now, but this will kind of give you an idea over what it looks like uh, when everyone's kind of out and about traveling around. So this would be the exit for Craig Ranch Parkway. They also have some, uh, they have like a hockey, the Dallas Stars have like a hockey rink here. That's where I used to drive the Zamboni at. Uh, and then they have the Michael Jordan Performance, or Michael Johnson Performance Center. Uh, as well as here and uh, and then at the beginning of the video I think I, I was able to get it on camera but they had their McKinney ISD had their huge stadium and I mean their stadiums everyone Frisco Plano McKinney uh, Prosper all of those kind of have like crazy big stadiums uh, for their school districts to kind of play out for like Friday night lights uh, it was kind of cool playing um, when I played soccer for uh, Frisco uh, over at Wakeland way back in the day I say way back in the day that was like 2016 we played at and they still play at toyota stadium but we would play at toyota stadium which was like a really cool thing and now frisco isd plays over at the star uh, which is another cool venue okay now we're coming up on independence parkway independence parkway is a pretty well-known street that kind of runs all the way down to 380 
to you. There's a whole bunch of master plan communities uh, along Independence as well. Ho we're going to be coming closer up on the Hollyhock, uh, which is a pretty well-known Frisco master plan community. So here's the first like toll checkpoint. This is going to be uh, two dollars. This is going to be two dollars and thirty-seven cents at this checkpoint. And then you'll kind of start to see now uh, we're getting in more of the shopping. They have like retail and uh, Target. They have like another Walmart around here as well. Um, they have some shopping on the left, and then there's uh, there's quite a bit of churches. That's the other thing. I, was, I took a, I brought a family down here from uh, Oregon, and uh, they were really like, "Wow, there's a lot of churches." And I'm like, "Yep, they're in the Bible Belt, baby." There's also uh, a tree farm on the right side, so and that's been here forever. Uh, and so has this huge construction site on the right side. You'll be driving 70 and then you'll look over and you'll see people driving 70 on the on the parkway road and you're like I think you're speeding sir And then there's the Centennial Centennial Medical District uh, Medical Hospital and then now right when we get over this hump right when you get over Coit and some of those streets you start to see more of Frisco in Plano, which I feel like both are just like competing with who just has like the bigger, you know, you know, buildings. Because you see on the left side, um, that's kind of like where Legacy West, all that kind of good stuff is, fun stuff is, Shots of Legacy. And then on the right, uh, you can't quite see it yet, but you can see cranes and they're putting buildings up, but over where the star is, uh, they're starting to put up a lot more buildings. And then uh, we'll also kind of start running into some of the cool areas to kind of shop around too, like the Stonebriar Mall. Living Spaces is on this right side. They just they just moved in. I say they they just moved in. They've been here for like a, a year and a half, two years. Okay, so now we're on the border of like McKinney Frisco, and then on this left side it's gonna be Plano. So that's where the Legacy West shopping is at. And then that exit was Preston Road. And Preston Road is that major road that I always talk about in my videos where you can take it over to Salina. So if you're coming from Salina or uh, Prosper, this is kind of where your entrance and where you're kind of be coming into this, this city and this part uh, of Frisco if you're gonna be traveling down Preston, which Preston's a pretty sizable road. Um, there's a lot of movement. Uh, that was the other thing with the family that I, I brought in here. I was taking them around. Uh, we have like a bunch of three lane, four lane, normal roads, like not even talking about the highways, like just the roads. Yes, we do have some underdeveloped places around Anna, Aubrey, Forney, all those areas, kind of what Frisco was way back in the day. But, um, you know, they do, you know, some, some cities do a good job with putting in the roads um, before they put in the big master plan community and then some are not so good. So. Okay, so this is the area where the Stonebriar Mall is. They got indoor skydiving. They have an Ikea. Uh, there's going to be a... <laughs> then when we get into the colony, there's going to be a whole bunch of furniture stores too. I don't know, just like... kind of goes from like... Uh, nothing at the beginning of the video, right? Where it's like just a bunch of fields. Maybe like a car dealership. Just a little bit of stuff. And then now we're into like way more buildings. 
I mean, they've been just popping up a whole bunch of stuff around this area. And then that would be the exit right back there where the Dallas North Tollway. So if you were going down to Dallas, or maybe you're gonna go right north up to Prosper, this would be the bridge and area and the exit that you'd be taking for that. And then on the right side, they have some car dealerships. And then on the left is where like the JP Morgan and Chase uh, headquarters is. You'll see the Toyota building headquarters coming up here. Uh, there's also gonna be a Top Golf, and we'll start entering the area of like the colony in that city. But on the right side now is Frisco. And then um, Stonebriar, Stonebriar Creek Estates, one of the really big communities in here. Um, pretty expensive homes, but, uh, but a crazy community with some crazy, crazy houses on this right side with a with huge country club. And then on the left is where the huge Toyota headquarters is at. And then now we'll start to see a little bit of the colony on the uh, left and right side. A little bit of the colonies on the left side and that's just like the Nebraska Furniture Mart and the Grandscape shopping area. We're like 10, 12 minutes into this drive right now, about halfway through it. So before we know, we'll be coming on the, on, up on the airport soon. Okay, left side is Grandscape shopping, Shields, bunch of restaurants. This is like Warren Buffett's huge master plan development that he's thrown a whole bunch of money into and uh, they just put in their apartment over there although I think it's a little bit expensive but then again it's like you got everything there so you can just drop down you're down in the elevator and then boom you're they have like a movie theater I mean they got a ferris wheel they have a ferris wheel outside and then they got a ferris wheel inside shields which just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. All right, on the right side, more furniture. They got like an Ashley's, or no, a Rooms to Go. And then on the left side, Nebraska Furniture Mart, which is like so big, it has its own zip code. And that's just like a huge, huge, I mean, I don't even think huge, like, that doesn't even like explain it. It's just, it's too big, it's way too big. We're going over some of the main roads in the colony. Uh, this is going to be Main Street. This is also going to lead to 423. So if you're maybe over in Aubrey, Little Elm, any of those cities that are a little bit north, this is the area. If you're going to travel south and not want to be on the tollway, this is kind of what it's going to look like for your entrance, kind of the area that you're going to end up at. Because um, we're going to be going right over 423. And that, that's the road that kind of, if we go right, that leads us to like Phillips Creek Ranch, up into Frisco Ranch, uh, up to all the way up to Winsong Ranch, kind of over into Prosper. And then if we go left, uh, you'll kind of see Castle Hills. And that'll lead us into like the Carrollton, uh, those areas. If you were to go south, and we're passing over that right now. There's another Walmart, another huge development in here. The Valor, the Valor on this left side, I think this would be a good... Uh, apartment complex to stay at if you're going to come into the city and you're planning on renting and maybe putting bids on houses or maybe seeing and waiting what the market does oh shoot guys i missed our toll this was uh hold on guys this was that was uh hold on i'll get the answer sorry i missed it i was talking all right that was a dollar 71 i believe i believe that was a dollar 71 so what we're at like dollar to fifty three but we're like at five dollars right now all right not bad all right so this area now we're entering into Louisville on this right side uh and on this left side too we have both both of the um both sides are Louisville uh the left side here is going to be more of Castle Hills they got Windhaven Crossing they have townhomes actually available in here that they're putting up and then on the right side is Business 121 now Business 121 that's going to lead you out to like Flower Mount Argyle, North Lake, uh, if you want to travel on that way and not have to kind of scoop around, like kind of go and do like a, um, not circle, but kind of do a big U around where the lake is uh, to go down 35, because you can still get over to those areas, because uh, like Argyle is all along 35, and this will, this road right here will still lead us into uh, Argyle, but because it'll, it'll take us to 30, the 35 exit, but um, some people take Business 121 because it's just a little bit cheaper and they're not having to travel on 35. 35 is just, it, it can be a pain. They, 
have expanded it pretty good. They've also expanded this area right here. This used to be a three lane. Um, they expanded, they opened this back up to a four lane about a year ago. And uh, traffic's been great through here, so that's really nice. We're gonna be starting to enter into the Carrollton area now on this right side. Uh, I don't, I think we'll be able to pick it up on camera, but on this right side here within the next mile, you kind of see the landfill that's around here. So keep that in mind, guys, if you're looking in this like Carrollton area along 35, uh, just outside of Louisville. Uh, that's where the landfill is, is going to be at and yes, it does get uh, it does get a little smelly sometimes through here uh, depending on the day And then usually if there's traffic like let's say along uh, McKinney or Frisco on the tollway kind of a little bit further back on what we've been driving This is usually once you've gotten to this area This is the area where it usually opens up and uh, traffic flows a lot better uh, it's just because it's a long straightaway. You'll kind of notice this on the Dallas North Tollway too if you're driving. There'll be certain areas where it'll open up and then it'll choke up. In those areas where it chokes up too, uh, there's also accidents as well just because people are driving past and not really paying attention to anything. So on the right side, landfill. Maybe you can kind of see it, but it is uh, right there and it is very noticeable. So now we're coming up on 35. 35 will be uh, the exit um, that you kind of see the bridge crossings and all this stuff coming up. Uh, if we go left, south, that'll take us into Dallas. That'll probably be about a 25 minute drive. Sometimes that's a little bit better depending on the HOV and if that's opened up. And then if you go right north, that'll take you to Corinth, Denton, all the way up to the North Texas um, and TWU campus all the way up there. I also take you to Argyle, North Lake, any of those master plan communities uh, that I've toured as well. You just kind of have two options. You can take Business 121 and, or you can take uh, 35. But from the airport and leaving the airport, you actually don't have to come down this road to go out to like Flower Mound and those areas. You can actually, there is an exit for, exit for Business 121 and I'll point that out. But sometimes, uh, you know, at rush hour, it'll be really bad traffic where you kind of might want to just take 35 back home. All right, so here's like the first sign for the DFW airport. So just to kind of give you guys an idea over how close we're getting. And we'll probably be there in about 10 to 12 minutes maybe. Well, let's see, yeah, we're about 20 minutes into the video, so this will definitely be a longer video than uh, usual, but looking at my last tollway videos, you guys seem to really like the, the driving videos around the tollway, so figured I'd do more of that. Now we are getting into the Coppell area in that city, and then we'll also be coming into Grapevine, and then you'll see some more neighborhoods on the left and the right side. But for the most part, everything's gonna be developed uh, throughout here and then kind of what the beginning of the video looked like. We are gonna be coming up on another toll here, so make sure I uh, pay attention this time and get the number. This toll is gonna be 66 cents. Alright, so here's the other exit on this right side for Business 121. You also, uh, in this area, you'll start to see a lot more airplanes kind of getting in lower. So, you know, if, you, if you're not into that in that area, if you're not into seeing a bunch of airplanes over your house, uh, fairly close, uh, then probably this area, you probably don't want to be looking at a house. And then this area right here used to be a two lane which was really annoying. They finally opened this up to a three lane as well. So 
all the roads, all like the different areas, because uh, it's it's one long road, but all the different areas where um, they kind of were struggling uh, with traffic on here, they've really done a better job opening up for the San Raymond Tollway. I would say for the most part, like it's pretty good kind of everywhere. There's not really a bad spot where they're kind of still building on right now. The area that um, kind of gets messed up is when it turns into uh, when 635 comes up here and kind of is the uh, intersection where the tollway meets and the uh, DFW entrance is. Coming into Grapevine, so they have like Bass Pro Shops as well as over here, so that's kind of a cool thing to come out to. But I mean, if you got Shields over in the colony, I don't, I don't really think you'll be driving out that far for this one. Maybe some people do because Bass Pro Shops got actual boats in it, unlike some of the other outdoor camping fishing. And then the Grapevine Mills Mall is all also over here. That's not really a huge popular mall. I would say like the more popular malls are gonna be along like the Dallas North Tollway. And then we're coming up on the 635 exit as well. Just to give you guys an idea about like timing and kind of where we're at. But I'll actually take the DFW airport exit because the, uh, the tollway kind of just ends here. But we're about, yeah, 25 minutes into this video. I'll probably edit some parts of it so it might not actually be that long, but. I mean, for driving all the way in McKinney, I mean, and like I've done some neighborhoods, like over in Anna, maybe just add like another 10, 15 minutes onto, you know, whatever this travel time was. And this, guys, keep that in mind too, it's also a Saturday right now, so really not too bad. Uh, you know, I've, I've driven down here where, from Frisco, it's taken an hour to get to the airport just because of the problem. And then this area right here is where there's gonna be more traffic because people don't really pay attention that this is like the DFW airport Dallas exit only sign. And uh, they'll just be driving away, not really noticing uh, that they've kind of changed everything. Because for like the longest time, they were like changing a whole bunch of different things. And now they're finally done with that. And people are now finally learning where the uh, where the right streets are and the right exits are. Because that was the other thing. It's like when, people, when they're going in here and they're changing certain exits up, people get really confused and then have to like relearn the roads. This is a two lane that kind of opens up to like a huge four lane. Uh, that goes, but this is the DFW exit, or this is the this is the Dallas Fort Worth exit. On the left would take us to 114, and that'll take us out to like West Lake. Um, that's the bridge that you kind of see in the overpass. Uh, that'll take you out to like West Lake, South Lake, Keller, and those areas. And then this will actually lead us right into the DFW airport uh, toll, but. This is where I'm gonna end today's video. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, appreciate you guys watching. Text me, email me, I got everything down, link below in the description. If you guys want me to check out any other places, doing any more driving tours, comment down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one, but for the most part, that was about a 26 minute drive, so not too bad on a Saturday at noon time. See you guys on the next one, peace. Take it easy, y'all. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.